Five resume mistakes you should avoid. Hello, I'm Santosh Nimani. I'm India's first proud introvert's career mentor. Today, we are going to talk about the five mistakes a lot of people do in their resumes, but they cannot identify it easily. They just ignore them, which may impact the career. So do, you also don't do these mistakes. The first mistake, typos and grammatical errors. A lot of people has their resumes, everything ready, everything. It is so beautiful, so colorful. It is having a good for, I mean, good uh, amount of skills. Everything is good. But the first spelling which they wrote about a skill is wrong. Or there is a sentence which is wrongly written over there. It can be tense or it can be anything, which makes a lot of impact. I'm telling you guys, this mistake I made when I was changing my job, but I covered it up at that moment because the typo error is there. I have covered it up for the next interview, but interviewer pinpointed that point. He asked me, what is this? I mean, why you have written this statement? This, this statement is wrong. He actually marked it with the pen. And I felt so bad at that moment. And even I felt so tensed because I know that. Because that also make, make my impression low with the interviewer. So this kind of, there are a lot of mistakes, which are, I think I'm sharing a lot of mistakes as such on the screen. And always use a website. It can be Grammarly. Grammarly, I always suggest a lot of people, which is for free. Uh, you can check uh, regarding the spellings. Mostly it will tell about the tenses as well. Timing ways, one more. So mostly you can use this Grammarly for uh, checking your spellings and all. Or you can use MS Word if you are new. J just check in MS Word the spelling, the spell check, grammar, thoroughly check whatever sentences you write. These are all things are very important. So that's the first mistake which a lot of people do. The second mistake is about poor formatting. The email will be on the left. The phone number is under with a lot of space. The name where you wrote it can be or the uh, the paragraphs which you write or the pointers which you give in the resume. Some or other way the formatting may miss. Again, I'm telling you this is also one more mistake a lot of people do. And sometimes the pointers, the spacing, if you give, just enter, uh, it may go towards the right sometimes. It may go towards the left. There is one extra space before uh, before the uh, paragraph starting or something like that. So check every single detail, every single detail, especially regarding the formatting. Always use MS Word, maybe templates. There are a lot of templates in MS Word as well. Check regarding the templates. So that templates will help you to make sure you have a proper formatting. And uh, yeah, this is also very important. The typo errors, grammatical errors, and this formatting makes a lot of impact while you see. So don't make it so complicated or, uh, I mean, the space between the lines, you have to observe this also. Uh, whenever there is a topic, for example, you are talking about the strengths, then you are writing your weaknesses. So some people write strengths, three pointers, immediately weakness, three pointers. So it's all about, it, it look like a single particular topic. So always have spaces between your topics. For example, extracurricular activities, you write some pointers. Next about personal information, give a space one line space is also fine so it actually make people think that okay this is separate topic or this is separate uh column over here so i can this is, this is a different thing altogether so always remember about this formatting as well the third mistake a lot of people do is unprofessional email address or writing nicknames this is also one more thing i am writing it as unprofessional uses of email address or names and all. a lot of people write their nickname on the top which is very weird so don't write nicknames or maybe don't don't write your instagram names or uh, i mean the king of the empire there are a lot of instagram names right dad's little prince not like that not instagram names write your full name and in that if you want you can even bold you can make the make your name which you want people to call for example your name is veera venkata sai kiran something like that or uh, Sham Singh or Roy so you want I mean in the first name you want people to call you Sai Kiran something like that or in the second name 
you want people to call as Siam. So something you have to always specify people what you have to call, what they have to call you. So for that, you write your name on the top and bold whatever name you want people to call you. So this is also very important aspect which a lot of people miss. That's about the naming. And second is about the email address. A lot of people write, I mean, I, I only also have uh, as such like rocks or um, king of king uh, so and so. So, so. so there are a lot of unprofessional emails. So take a look at your email address. Always make sure you create a separate email for your for your uh, this uh, this kind of interviews and all with your name directly. Like for example, Nimmani Santosh at the rate gmail.com or Santosh Nimmani at the rate gmail.com in that way or your name itself. Make sure you have that email address with your full name at the rate gmail. If that is not available, add some maybe date of birth or something like that at the end. So that actually makes a lot of difference while you are using email. Don't write um, Ravi rocks or uh, Ravi shakes or something like that. Don't write this kind of stuff on the resume. This is one more mistake. I even saw a lot of people mentioning it on the email, which looks so awkward and weird when the interviewer looks into it. The fourth mistake a lot of people make in their resumes is leaving out inf important information. Writing big, I mean, if, if, some, if you're talking about a project, for example, you're a fresher, you're writing about your new project or you're mentioning about your core project, you are writing a, maybe a four or five paragraphs of information regarding that regarding that particular project not required so write some important aspects or the point is what you have done for the project and what is the main aim of the project or what you have done in the project so something only few points about the project is enough than writing so much about the project so leaving the main information in that i i mean as an interviewer i cannot find what is important in that I cannot actually identify that because I I'm, I don't have time to read all this information, right? So always write some pointers or maybe one or two liners in that way. It actually helps you to help interviewer to understand about you. So that makes a lot of difference while you are giving an interview, interviewer an issue. Okay, so don't leave out important information or don't over give information so that people get confused. This is also one more aspect. The fifth mistake a lot of people make and this is one of the most common and favorite part for me. That is about using the same application for all the jobs. A lot of people do this mistake because they feel that it's okay. One, one, I mean, I don't have time to edit my resume or on and all. No guys, everyone, everything will be clearly visible when you go for an interview because you are tensed maybe, but interviewers, I mean, I have interviewed around 500 plus people till date. So I know because I'm not tensed. I, I mean, I was sitting, it's my job. I will obviously observe. So you may go to a support role or some admin role, something like that. And you are talking about some mechanical thing over there, or you are going for a software job and you are talking about something else or some, uh, some management related roles, so, which actually makes lot of, lot of kiosks and people think that, okay, this guy actually using the same resume for everything. So always, first of all, before going for an interview, know about the role know about the job description accordingly you have to adjust your ratio maybe you have to move your columns from here and there if you are going for a technical job interview you can go you can pull this technical section on the top if you're going for a managerial specific uh, i mean job or you're going for support role so according to that you have to mention your experience in your ratio so a lot of people i have seen a lot of people actually doing the same mistake and uh, I even uh, has experienced this because I have seen a lot of candidates show, I mean, talking about that they're just coming to a job interview like a software job and they're talking about Excel, what they have done in Excel and all. But I told them whatever experience they have in the software, I asked them about it, like any programming long way like C, C, P, P and all. Then they told that they have experience, so which is not mentioned in their issue. So I was, so, I was quite surprised and asked them as well, why didn't you mention all this in the issue? They were they don't have an answer so don't be blank at that moment so always read the job description and understand what role you are going into then accordingly you have to mention the strengths or the work which you have done in your issue i believe you love this video if you love this video to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more videos from my channel and if you love this video you can share it to someone so that they will also get some information from this and they will also get some help from this video and thank you so much for being along with me and thank you so much for all your love 
आई विल बी अगेन मीटिंग यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो